Oh, the first thing that you should buy when making your labels, but I made a complete video on how to make business cards. Here is the final product, but I just love the simple look of them. <laughs> of my lip gloss making series. I'm gonna show you in this series how to make lip gloss, the easiest way to make it, and how to make labels for your lip gloss. I have been asked this question, well I asked you guys if you would like to see that, and you guys told me yes in my last lip gloss making video. So I'm gonna show you how I actually make my labels for my lip gloss. But here's a lip gloss that I've made and the label on it right here and it looks like it's actually on the lip gloss so that is going to be our goal for this and you can also buy the strips for the lip gloss labels that just go across like this but if you really want that professional look like that wraparound professional look and maybe you want your logo to be bigger or you want more writing on the logo but the little strips are not enough space i'm going to show you the labels that are that will be perfect for this and I actually used for this and it works out perfect and I love them. So the first thing that you should buy when making your labels is the Avery labels. These are the glossy clear two by two and this is in the 22853 style. So I'm gonna show you that right here. But there it is right there, 22853. That's the kind that I like to buy for this. And I think I got this from Amazon. I know you can go on Avery and order them, but honestly, I think they might be a little cheaper on Amazon. So I would just order them from Amazon. Now what you wanna do is go to avery.com and you can actually make an account for free. So this costs absolutely nothing to make an account. And let me tell you guys, this is how I make my, my business cards. I'll actually put that up in the card above so you can go and check that out. But I made a complete video on how to make business cards for your business and they actually look so legit and I love them. Right here, I already have an account. So I'm gonna go to my projects. And I'm gonna show you guys, like as you can see, my business cards and like some of the other ideas that I had. But this one right here is the one that I like to use. So if you already have your logo, your design, and how you want your label to look, all you have to do is you would click Start a New Project, and then you would try to find the 22853, or you can type it in 22853, which would be right here, and select this template. And then they have like templates on here, but of course you want to have just a plain design and upload your own design. So what you would do is just upload your design right here. So I'm actually just going to go in and put like a logo or something right here. And then I'm going to turn it to the side. And I want it centered, so we're gonna center this just like that, and it would come out just like this, and then you would wrap it around the lip gloss tube. So, but this isn't the logo that I want. I can't actually find the, the logo that I had, so I'm just gonna go back to my designs. And then I'm gonna click on this and then open. And there is my label. So now this is how the paper looks. It's super glossy on the front. It's almost slightly textured too, but it's super shiny. And um, this is the back. So what you would do with this is you would put it face down in your printer. Well, that's at least how mine is. So let's come over here to the printer and I'm just gonna open the bottom, put this face down and then close it and we're going to come back to the computer and then we're going to hit preview and print and then it's going to show you all the page layout and that, that's what your labels are going to look like before they go um, when they get printed onto the paper and then you're just going to click print it yourself you're going to click print it yourself and then 
get PDF to print. So I like how it looks on there and then download PDF. And then it's gonna come up right here. And then all you're gonna do is go to file and print and print. And then this is how they will look when they come out. So now we have to get the labels onto the lip gloss. This is how we're gonna do that. I'm gonna peel off the sticker, like so, and align it. So I'm going to align it with the lip gloss. Just like that, rub it down. And be careful because you don't want the ink to spread. And just gently rub it across on both sides until it lays flat. And if you did it right, it should lay flat. And there is our first lip gloss that it looks so professional and at the bottom I put 10 milliliters and it expires in 12 months after opening and it says lip gloss right here with my logo and so now I'm just gonna do them all like that the final product they look so good oh my gosh I am in love with these I love this simple basic look I'm such a simple basic person but I just love the simple look of them these are honestly my best sellers everyone's been asking me to restock so here they are and they just look so good and so professional and I love it so I hope this video was helpful and I hope you took a lot from this video. I really hope you did. If you did, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I will be having more entrepreneur, business, makeup related videos coming. I also have a whole playlist of how I package my orders, how I ship orders, and how to make lip gloss and me packaging lip gloss and all of that. So if you would love to see those kind of videos, I have a playlist for that. I hope this video gave you some kind of inspiration and maybe that kick or drive to really start your business, whatever kind of business it is, whether it's a lip gloss business or if you need labels for any other kind of business, I hope this gave you the inspiration and motivation to do that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.